Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. I'd also like to thank my colleague on the Rules Committee, Representative Roy, for leading this legislation, uh, the SAVE Act. As, as a member of Congress from one of the states that has recently attempted to allow non-citizens to vote in our local elections, uh, and has simultaneously pursued sanctuary policies that have led to a flood of illegal immigration. I am very proud to be a co-sponsor of this bill that seeks to protect a key institution of our democratic system amid an unprecedented crisis on our southern and our northern borders. Uh, our colleagues on the other side of the aisle, however, don't seem to care about the real and the documented threat facing the security of our elections here. Uh, they will say, and they have said, that the number of illegal aliens who have attempted to vote in our federal elections is small compared to uh, vote totals. But, but Chairman Style, in your view, how high do the numbers of non-citizens illegally voting or attempting to vote in our elections have to get in order for Congress to take action? I, is there some kind of magic threshold? Uh, there's, there's no magic threshold. And I, would, I would note that we have done a series of hearings that have shown where non-citizens have voted in numbers that can have a significant impact uh, or determinative impact on federal elections. Yeah, I, I mean, the, the, the radicals in the New York City Council tried to pass a bill that would allow a separate set of books for non-federal elections versus federal elections, and, and it was struck down as unconstitutional in New York State courts uh, under the New York State Constitution. Uh, but I agree with you. The acceptable threshold for non-citizen voting in our federal, our state, and our local elections should just be zero. Period. End of story. Uh, this, is, this is a right and privilege of American citizens, and it should be protected as such. Uh, and Chairman Seil, isn't it true that we can't trust the Department of Justice to go after non-citizen voting or even to try to address the problem of non-citizen voting? They've shown no prioritization of, of citizenship and non-citizenship voting. And, and I think that should be incredibly troubling, given the fact that we have like 10 million people here illegally wandering around the country right now all over the United States. It's a 50-state problem. Uh, it's a, especially a problem in my home state of New York, and it I just boggles my mind that this isn't something that we can pass on a suspension uh, to safeguard our votes for only citizens of the United States of America. Uh, but I completely agree with you. If the Biden White House isn't even willing to say that there's a problem, how can we trust the DOJ that they're even going to do anything about it? Um, I strongly support this legislation before us today. It's a simple, straightforward measure that the vast majority, three quarters, in fact, of Americans support as well. And I yield back, Mr. Chairman.